yours today, is it Lamilo? Hi everyone. So we are here for my Instagram takeover, and I'm told that uh, uh, it's uh, it's um, what I do every day on a on a on a typical day in ITI. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I suppose one breaks into the artistic scene by doing art, by making art, by wanting to be an artist and then creating new work and putting yourself out there as an artist. Has it become easier or was it more difficult in the past? Well, I, I think it's always been difficult. Uh, making art is no easy thing. As far as I can tell, in the things that I've done in life, it's probably one of the most difficult things anyone can do. It's, um, it's thankless most of the times, it's time-consuming, it's laborious, it completely consumes you. And so the question is, why do people do it? But of course, we all know, you know, we've had art as part of our lives for as long as recorded history. I, I guess it's something we can't do without. And thank goodness for that, because I think art is, is, is such, a, such an important constellation in life. But it's, it's the most difficult thing to do. Why should contemporary actors study traditional forms? It's a, it's a very good question. Contemporary actors can gain so much from traditional theatre. Traditional theatre is a, a reservoir of knowledge, of technology, of know-how and experience. And it's a capsule way of understanding what's possible in performance. More importantly, it's a way of understanding perfection in performance. And believe me, contemporary actors can make use of that. It's to hone their skills. It's to perfect their craft. It's to become better actors. We're not just training actors. We want to train artists, people who can make good theatre, who can create good theatre. Theatre that can speak to our communities and our own people. If, you, if your ambitions are any less, if your ambitions are any more modest, don't come. ITI is interested in training the best people to do the best work in theatre. It's the first working draft of the FYIT scripts for the students. After their last final year production, they wrote their scripts and we're going to have our first read, which is very exciting because this is all original work. Yeah? 
If you have any other notes or anything else you want the audience to know, they can master now. So you get a sense of what it is. I guess twice a day is good enough for a 20 year old. What do you do, Mr. Mani? Angry at this time. Voice over. Alright. You can. Coffee. I would like to direct a play which is based on one of the great Hindu epics, which has all the former students of ITI who have to be auditioned, uh, you know, playing the roles. It's a dream project for me. It'll be a show which will retell the epics through the craft of ITI students. That's my dream show. The first day in TTRP was in, was in Jurong. The students of that first batch had gathered and uh, both Paukun and I gave a welcome speech. And I, I can't remember what, what I said, but I, 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 the feeling, the feeling of, of, of starting on this journey, it felt like we were on a long march towards a new way of doing theatre. It was very exciting, it was very daunting, but uh, it's something that's, uh, you know, indelibly marked in my mind, yeah. I'll never forget it. I think there was once when the students, one of our students climbed up the coconut tree. This was Shaquille. Shaquille could, Shaquille could climb any tree, you know. He climbed up the coconut tree, he climbed up the jackfruit trees to pluck the fruits. And uh, I remember uh, walking in on them, feasting on these fruits in the pantry. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was funny. It was great to know that we could grow our own food. Where do you want me to stand, Tommy? Just put the food in front of me. I, 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 I'm just been, I've just been blown away by the, the Mandalorian, honestly. You know, I've been binge watching it uh, and uh, I've been watching the behind the scenes interviews with all the directors. What, what a brilliant cast of directors he's gathered. For me, it's, it's re reawakened my interest in Star Wars. Once again, the, the, you know, the, uh, 
the potential of epics, the potential of of the classic is again, you know, very obvious and evident. This series, which at one level is just entertainment, but at another level, it really engages people in a quite deep way. My hopes uh, are really quite deep and extensive. I mean, we are going through this terrible pandemic, which I think has affected everything that we do in theatre. I'm just hoping that as soon as we can, we can return back to some kind of normalcy where we can have uh, audiences coming back to watch plays in a regular, normal setting. I can't wait for that to happen. And my hope is that it happens as soon as possible because the damage that the pandemic is causing to theatre is untold. And we will only know the true damage a few years down the road when we, we can look at, you know, how many people have left or how many people have been forced to give up the art form and uh, what kind of theatre we are going to be making. My hope is also that theatre will start to, to become more responsible and accountable as far as climate change and you know the carbon footprint is concerned. That we are responsible in the way we make theatre and we, we acknowledge the fact that this can be an extremely wasteful practice which we must change. So these are, these are big hopes. But I think it's time that we begin to think seriously about them and make changes now so that theatre still has a future. It's been a real privilege and an honour to do this. Uh, I've never done this before in my life and uh, I'm still wondering whether I will ever do it again. But uh, it's, been, it's been quite exciting putting this takeover together. And uh, I hope that it's been beneficial to you and that uh, you've learnt a little bit about me and about ITI. Have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. Cheers. Here's to your health. Keep safe and keep hopeful. Bye-bye.